This program is proudly brought to you by Sorbent. Tonight, we're offering a $12,000 antique Victorian table, a $20,000 trip to South Africa, the stunning Audi 82.6 e-quattro, and a cash jackpot of $186,000. All on the world's richest quiz, Sale of the Century. And now, a big Friday night welcome for Glenn Rich. Thanks very much, Peter. Ah. Hello, everyone. Nice to have you with us on sale and welcome at home. Nice to have you with us also. Hope you've had a good week tonight. It's uh, basically a lonely night because we don't have a carryover champ. Pat decided to leave us last night, so we have three new players. And to tell us who they are, please give a very, very warm welcome to Nikki Buckley. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello, Glenn. Oh, so I'm not one of the kiddies, then? I'm, no, you're I'm such old. a mature man. Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't Pat a lovely guy? Oh, he was lovely. And and he won that beautiful table to give to his lady, Janet. Yeah, Janet, who uh, there's a long jean watches and also the mm. table as well, but just a really nice guy. So. Do you know we've given away over $200,000 to the contestants this week, winners? Wow, well, of course Greg yep. uh, took the Audi mm -hmm. and the prizes. That's so, a yeah. lot of money in one week. Not in a four bad days so far. Push. Hey. Oh, what can you say? <laughs> so let's continue doing it. Of course, we haven't given it away. They've won it. They've earned yeah. every bit of it oh, too. Absolutely. So um, let's see how we go tonight. Three new players and tell us. Who... Oh. You are. <laughs> Who's well, playing? our first contestant likes to blend the metal, the mental with the physical. Sorry, he's a solicitor and an active sportsman from Rose Hill, New South Wales. Let's welcome Cameron Birch. Hello, Cameron. Hi, Glenn. How are you? Good, thank now, you. Now, when our second contestant takes a break from Tai Chi, she likes to cook up a storm at home. From Mornington, Victoria, we welcome Barbara Fenwick. Hello, Barbara. And then I heard a rumour that our third contestant plays in a band called Rumours. Let's see if it's true. From Bandura, Victoria, please welcome Ed Heskett. Hello, Ed. How are you? Glenn? I'm fine, thanks, Glenn. Lindsay Buckingham, Mick Fleetwood, uh, yeah, all Stevie those Nicks. Yes, we've got all them. <laughs> Tell us some of the, the Fleetwood Mac songs which you perform. Oh, we do, um, we do all, the, uh, all the standards from the Rumours and the uh, Fleetwood Mac albums. And we also go back to the Peter Green days and do Albatross and Black Magic Woman and oh, uh, a few I of the that. old ones like that. Mm. Fantastic. I remember all those. I don't know what that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, they're a great band, Fleetwood Mac, so good luck Indeed. with that. And good luck tonight, Ed. Yes, Thanks very luck. much. So, Barbara, when you cook up a storm in the kitchen, I believe you throw everything in. How do you prepare for it, or what do you do exactly? It's, it's not a matter of preparing. It's just wake up in the morning, and I just have this urge to cook everything that there is. So I just take it all out of the fridge and everything out of the cupboards and make whatever I can with whatever I've got. But just cook all day? Just cook all day. Oh. What's your favourite? What's the piece de resistance? Oh... Uh... You'd have, probably have to ask friends. It's probably a toss-up between my chocolate cake and my baked cheesecake. Oh. Yum! I love baked cheesecake. I love chocolate cake. Can you do both? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Good no luck tonight, Barbara. Thank mm. you. Cameron, you'd like to tour. Did I say, yeah, scuba dive. You enjoy scuba diving. Yep, I would like to get very much into it. Yeah, I haven't um, done too much of it. I've done a fair bit of snorkeling, but not so much scuba diving, but I'd very much like to go And the Maldives, dives being very a much particular one. Yeah. Our executive producer was telling us that uh, he's been there and you can see manta rays, they just whizz all over the place and actually feed the sharks. Oh, really? oh, oh that sounds a bit scary, but... <laughs> yeah, it does, we'll see how it's, it's all right. It's a oh, you wouldn't go anywhere near them. What are you on about? Well, not much. I did at the aquarium. I was that far from one. Yeah, in the glass. <laughs> all right, good luck tonight, Cameron. Thanks, Glenn. In fact, good luck to all of our players. $20 starting money, and we'll get on with the game. We'll see you now that we've introduced the three players. Yeah. feel really silly. We'll see you in the mm. gift shop. All right, cash jackpot out the back, $186,000. So, question one for the round. Meaning that others can act in a like manner is the expression, to comply at that... Barbara. Game. Yes. A slogan of the radical 60s Black Panther movement was power to the... People. Cameron. Yes. The first British stamp to feature a living person other than the Sovereign was that in 1967 of yachtsman Sir Francis who? Ed. Chichester. Yes, and everyone's off the, uh, off the mark, which is good to see. Here's a visual question. Take a look at your monitor. This celebrity couple are followers of which controversial... Cameron. The Church of Scientology. That's right, yeah. Controversial philosophy, and it was uh, Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. By what name do we also know St Stephen's Day, which is celebrated on the 26th of December? Cameron. Boxing Day. Yes, in the lead by $10. Cameron, something which is excessively saturated with water is said to be water what? Barbara. Logged. Yes. Good shop. And Cameron, you have the opportunity to buy. Your $5 ahead of Barbara, your 10 ahead of Ed's, and here's Nikki in the gift shop. Cameron, don't move a muscle. Professional bodybuilder Sonny Schmidt is about to perform a death-defying bench press. Go, Sonny! Yeah! <laughs> so, how do you get to 
be this well toned? Well, you use a sensational home gym like this one, of course. Now, the RM7000 lets you tricep push, shoulder shrug, leg curl, side bend, pec deck and more. Perfect training if you ever have to arm wrestle a muscle man like Sonny here. Now, it's normally $1,100. Tonight, it's just $6 from Sports Unlimited Warehouse and Sale of the Century. How are you, Sonny? Nice to see you. Put it there. Well done. Oh. <laughs> uh, you're training at the moment. <laughs> you're training at the moment for uh, Mr. Olympia. Yep. Happening uh, where in Atlanta? Atlanta, um, 8th of September. Okay, and uh, representing Australia too. So good luck with that, Sonny. How much training would you do a day? How many hours? Uh, train about two hours in the morning and an hour and a half at night. Yeah, that's about what I do. So a week. That's why we look so similar, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Cameron, would Please. you like to buy here? Um, I wouldn't like to arm wrestle Sonny, I must confess, but I think... Well, I if would... you don't buy, that's what you'll have to do. Well, if that's the case, I'll yeah. Six dollars, well done. Good luck with it too, Sonny. Thank you. Everything, I hope it goes really well for you. <laughs> He's not that tough, Cameron, honestly. I've still got a bit of feeling there. Uh, Barbara, you're in the lead now. You're on $30. Back to the questions. In a speech at Fulton, Missouri in 1946, Winston Churchill said... Cameron. The Iron Curtain. That's right, yes, good answer. That descended across Europe was an iron what? An iron curtain. The name of which popular takeaway food is the Italian for pie? Ed. Pizza. Yes. Which European airline owns a quarter of Qantas? Cameron. British Airways? Yes, and uh, we're going to give you a chance to pick $10 off from uh, our fame game board. $10 has been placed behind a famous face. Who am I? Born in the United States in 1940, I was a university student when I won two US amateur championships. In 1962, I turned professional and won my first major tournament, the US Open, by defeating Arnold Palmer in a playoff. The first player to win all four of golf's major... Barbara. Jack Nicholas. I am Jack Nicholas. yes, the Golden Bear. All-time great player of golf. Jack Nicholas. Good answer, Barbara. We've got a great game here. Cameron on 39, Barbara and Ed both on $30. So pick correctly here, Barbara, and you're in the lead. But firstly, tonight our famous faces are... Andrew Clark. Banjo Patterson's the man from Snow River. Mary Gearan. Sports Sunday. John Mahoney. Frazier, starting soon. Sophie Formica. Just kidding. Brendan Richards. Brendan comes from Kings Park in New South Wales, and Brendan enjoys 10-pin bowling and reading. Nice to have you with us, Brendan, yes. too. Joe Beth Taylor. Australia's Funniest Home Video Show. Red Simon. Hey, hey, it's Saturday. Tara Brown. Carrot Affair. And Lockie Daddo. From Getaway. So who would you like, Barbara? Oh, I like Fraser, so I'll take John Mahoney, please. It's a great show. Here's John Mahoney. Barbara, you look like you mean business with this range of men's and ladies' leather accessories. Featuring attaches, warrants and more, they're valued at $645 from Hard End. Good prize, Barbara. The money stays on the board. And Brendan Richards in Kings Park in uh, New South Wales, along with all the viewers who appear on the Fame Game board, will be receiving an 18-karat gold plate of pin from Germani Jewellery and the Sale of the Century board game, where you can test your skills at home by Crown and Andrews. And we'll be back shortly with round two on the side. Tonight, the first ever live Perks Backyard and your chance to win a new Mazda. Discover the majestic Poinciana tree, plus co-host of the new midday show, Tracy Grimshaw. I didn't put it there, That's I promise. Perks Backyard, 7.30 tonight on 9. Sorbent multicolour prints designed to match just about any decor. 30. Recently made an officer in the General Division of the Order of Australia was which Perth businesswoman? Cameron. Uh, Janet Holmes, of course. Yes. What is the smallest planet? Ed. Mercury. No, Pluto. Born in 1913, was noted Australian tennis doubles player Adrian Who. Cameron. Gilchrist? No, just Quists. Fame game, $15 being added to the board. Who am I? Born Barbara Huffman in uh, the United States in 1934, I was a former All-American cheerleader and teenage pop singer before making my screen debut in Back From Eternity. 
Appearing with Walter Pidgeon in Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, I also featured in The Wonderful World of the Brothers Grimm and starred in several TV movies, including Harper Valley PTA. Uh, Cameron. Barbara Eden. I am Barbara Eden, yes. Went on, of course, with I Dream of Jeannie. Cameron, which of our famous faces would you like to uh, uh, have a look behind? Sophie for Micah, thanks. Glenn. From Just Kidding, good luck, here's Sophie. And there's $15. Taking you up to 54, so Cameron on 54, Barbara on 30, Ed on 25, into the fast money, 30 seconds on the clock, and your time starts now. Lighthearted sexual play is called Slap and What? Ed. Yes, uh, winning three gold medals at the Melbourne Olympics was Betty who? Cameron. Cuthbert. Yes, uh, what is the most populous American state? Cameron. California. Yes, uh, who founded Virgin Records? Barbara. Richard Branson. Yes, uh, which ology is the study of numbers and their influence? Cameron. Numerology. That's right. Uh, is the dugong a fish or a mammal? Barbara. Mammal. Yes, a hit song for the Moody Blues is Nights in Ed. White Satin. Yes, uh, who is portrayed in the watermark of uh, some Australian bank? Uh, Cameron. Captain Cook. Captain Cook is right. So, well answered, Cameron. You're on $74. Uh, you have a $34 lead. So, once again, you can buy here with Nikki. Cleopatra no longer needs to bathe in the River Nile. She has this beautiful Kingfisher spa bath to cater for all her pampering needs. Finished in glistening white enamel and featuring a soothing hydrojet spa system, this elegant steel spa bath comes fully installed, so all you have to do is lay back and relax. Normally $1,866, tonight it's just $9. From Dorf Design and Sale of the Century. This is great, Cap Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh, Glenn. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you... yeah. Sorry. You look like Sonny. Put your hand there. Sonny. No, he's not even Sonny. It's amazing. <laughs> Couldn't be the same man. Uh, Cameron, you're leading. This is great. You picked up the gym earlier. Now you can have the bath and the squash grapes, and we'll sell it to you for $9. Um, I'm tempted, Glenn, but we already have a bath. Oh, oh but you don't have a bath like bath. this. This is a top of the range, Hydrogen. squirting sort of spa bath. Well, this is true. Um, <laughs> Thank oh, you. All right. Yes, well, well done, done, Cameron. Hey, you're a bit of a shopper. I think I like it. Thanks for joining us, Sonny, too. And good luck with everything. Uh, sales surprise, too. Also, sorry, we do have a sales surprise. And that's $200 petrol voucher as well. So that's money in your pocket. Uh, courtesy of Ampol and Caltech. So thank you very much for that. Viewers question, uh, we all know the classic fairy tale of Snow White, but what work did the Seven Dwarfs actually do? We'll tell you after this break. Oh. Dwarfs actually do, they were miners. So, there it is. Cameron is leading at the moment. Our game on $65, Barbara on 40 Ed on 35 cash card rounds. The Austrian physicist who gave his name to the ratio of flight speed to the speed of sounds was Ernst who? Cameron. Mark? Yeah, we'll take that. Mark or Mac? Which British pop group formed in 1972 had a hit with the song, I'm Not In Love? Ed. 10cc. Yeah, do you sing that? Uh, no, we don't do that one. Oh, you don't do that one. Wrong game. Right. Cash card time. Cameron, you can buy again or play. Uh, at the moment, you're $30 ahead. If you do decide to play, it'll cost you $15. We have $5,000 there and this great prize. Cameron, this highly sought-after limited edition Australian Rugby Union jersey doesn't have to try hard at all to be a winner. It's been autographed by the 1995 Schweppes Wallabies, including David Campisi and Michael Liner, and is a collector's item that is certain to appreciate in value. Tonight, it's valued at $2,500 from the Australian Rugby Football Union and save the century. Hey, that's a great prize. That's on one of the machines. Also, the $15 to go back on your score is another, and the Audi on another. Uh, do you want to risk $15, spend it, and see a part of it? You would. OK, coming off your score is the 15. You're back to 55, which means you have a one in four chance of picking up $5,000 cash. Cameron, hearts, spades, clubs, or diamonds? Which machine would you like us to play? Um, hearts, thanks, Glenn. You'd like to play hearts okay. down this end, Nick? Good luck, Cameron. Good luck. We good haven't luck. given $5,000 away for a long time. Here we go. Good luck to everyone at home yes. with their scratchies. It is. Oh, the $5,000 heading your way. Congratulations. As I said, the well, first time for a long Cameron. time, Cameron, but that's your $5,000. We can't take it away from you. Great. And uh, good luck to the people at home also who happen to have the hearts. Who knows? $10,000 could be coming your way. All right, let's get back to the questions. Founded in 1746 was which men's university in New Jersey, beginning with P? Ed. Princeton. Yes. Inaugurating a new era in communications was which satellite launched in July 1962, beginning with T? Cameron. Telstar 1. Yes, that's right. The name of which distilled spirit derives from the Gaelic Usquebaugh? 
Cameron. Whiskey? Yes, correct. In terms of a motor vehicle specification, the abbreviation LWB literally stands for Barbara. Long wheelbase? Yes. As we go to the fame game for the last time for the week, $25 in the wild card being added, who am I? Born in Europe in 1914 and dying in 1984, I was a telegraph worker and a seaman before becoming an organiser in the Young Communist League. A guerrilla fighter during World War II, I joined the Soviet Communist Party and as ambassador to Hungary was responsible for putting down the 1956 uprising by organising the country... Cameron. Leonid Brezhnev? No, the country's invasion. Possessing an excellent command of English, I spent 15 years as head of the KGB and succeeded Leonid Brezhnev as the country's president and as general secretary of the Communist Party. With the first name of Yuri and Ed. Um, <sighs> sorry. And a surname beginning with A, I am Yuri who? Barbara? No idea. No idea? Andropov. Yuri Andropov was the man we needed. Uh, so no one gets a pick of the ball, but where was the money, Nikki? The wild card was with Mary Gearan. Andrew Clark had the $10 and Red Simons had the 25 So that's where the money was. The champs leading at the moment $20 ahead as we prepare for the Mad Minute, and that'll be along shortly. Coming up, the first ever... Oh, well, we do, though, Cameron. I probably was a little premature earlier. I said the champ's leading. Of course, you're in the champ's seat. But first night with us, who knows? That might be the case. At the moment, you're leading by $20 on 65. Barbara and Ed, both on $45. 60 seconds will tell us who the new champ's going to be. Good luck, everyone. 60 seconds up on the clock, and your time starts... Now, a variety of domestic fowl is the Rhode Island... What? Cameron. Red. Yes, uh, from which language comes the phrase bon appetit? Cameron. French. Yes, uh, which man's name is Dick, a shortened form? Barbara. Richard. Yes, uh, which is larger in area, the Northern Territory or New South Wales? Cameron. The Northern Territory. Yes, which English city lies on the Mersey estuary? Cameron. Liverpool. Yes, Danny Kaye starred in the film The Secret Life of what? Ed. Oh, Harry Poole. Walter Mitty, uh, beginning with W, is which other term for Brett? Cameron. With. Yes, uh, helped, uh, sorry, played to help babies sleep is whose lullaby? Barbara. Brahms. Yes, uh, there are how many quarts in a gallon? Cameron. Twelve. Four. Beginning with L is which riverside embankment to prevent flooding? Ed. Levy. Yes, uh, which metallic element has the chemical symbol N? -R Cameron. No, sorry. Nickel. In which state or territory is Mount Gambia? Barbara. New South Wales? South Australia in Roman mythology. Which animal nursed Romulus and Remus? Cameron. A wolf. Yes, uh, which type of naval vessel is also called a flat top? Ed. Aircraft carrier. Yes, uh, which actor was paralysed? And congratulations, Cameron, you've won the game. On $85, 35 ahead of Barbara and Ed. So well played. Plus you've picked up five grand in the kick too. That's right. Good game, Cameron. And good game to Ed and Barbara too. Ed, you unfortunately picked up no prizes tonight, but thanks for joining us. Nice having you with us, Ed. And good luck with the music side too. Yeah. And Barbara, you're taking away the leather accessory, $645 worth, so well done. Nice having you with us also, Barbara. We hope you had a great time. And Peter has these gifts for both yourself and Ed. Yes, Glenn, Ed and Barbara will each receive the latest Sale of the Century board game from Crown and Andrews, plus our 18-carat gold-plated pin from Shimani Jewelry and Sale of the Century. Congratulations, Cameron. Great. Well played. Thank hey, you very did much. very, very well there in the fast money. So let's go shopping. Come on through. Have a look at a few things. There's the Audi. So uh, that's it for now. It won't be there next week. We'll have another one there, though. Um, but let's have a look at a couple of prizes, one of which you could possibly win tonight, starting off with the kitchen package. Feast your eyes upon these superb kitchen appliances. There's a built-in 280-litre refrigerator with automatic defrosting, a spacious family-sized freezer, and an energy-efficient dishwasher for sparkling results. Together, these wonderful white goods are valued at $5,549 from AEG. With that fresh sea air and the wind in your hair, you'll feel like you're flying across the water on this dynamic Sea Doo watercraft. Featuring a 55 horsepower engine and an awesome jet power system, the Sea Doo SPI gives you lightning speed combined with easy handling. Together with registration, it's valued at $9,390 from Haytrack, Australia. Now, I did mention, too, that the Audi will be back, but not that one. But we do have some other great prizes which will be back next week. And, of course, if you come back on Monday night, one of them could be yours. Here's two of them. Cameron, experience the exotic offerings of South America on this 11-day Rio Rendezvous for two. 
you'll spend five lively nights in Rio de Janeiro, visit the spectacular Iguazu Falls, and tour the cosmopolitan city of Buenos Aires. Including first-class accommodation and airfares, this South American adventure is valued at $12,642 from Adventure World and Aerolinas Argentinas. First created in 1775, this delightful Danish crockery has been served by centuries of fine tradition. Hand-painted in delicate blue fluted full lace, this eight-place porcelain dinner setting is complemented by 56 pieces of silver-plated cutlery and a stylish collection of glassware. It's valued at $15,112 from Royal Copenhagen and George Jensen. There's some great prizes which will be on the board on Monday night. Oh, here's Michelle, your wife. Hello, Hello, Michelle. You're very proud of him, aren't you? I'm very proud. We just happened to hear you scream when the $5,000 was given away at the cash card, so yes. yeah. All right. Very important. Which numbers would you like for tonight, though, Cameron? Um, nine, thanks. Number, number nine. nine. The trip. And number two? Number two. At the top. Ah, oh, the, the trip. Quick as a flash. $20,035 worth of trip to Africa. Here it is. Cameron can set off on safari to the wilds of South Africa on this 12-day adventure for two. You'll trek across the countryside from Cape Town to Port Elizabeth, spend four luxurious nights at the Bay Hotel, including spectacular game viewing at the Londolosi Reserve and a glorious two-night stay at the Palace of the Lost City, together with business class flights and $3,000 spending money from ANZ cards. It's valued at $20,035 from Adventure World and South African Airways. You two will have a great time in, in Africa. It'd be a great place for a holiday. But you'd also have a great time driving around in the Audi, I'm sure. Let's have a look at the one we have tonight. It's great. This showstopper Audi 80 2.6 E-Quattro is really going to light up your life. With its superb 2.6-litre engine, this magnificent vehicle also features permanent four-wheel drive to take the roughest road in its stride. Featuring ABS brakes, power steering and an electric sunroof, the Audi 80 2.6 E-Quattro will keep you in the spotlight. It's valued at $64,015 plus on road costs. Audi, advancement through technology. It really is a great car, the Audi 80 V6, and uh, of course you could have that if you stick with us for a little while. Uh, tonight our cash jackpot though stands at... Tonight's sale of the Century Cash Jackpot moves up to $186,000. $186,000. Now, let's get things into perspective. You not only won tonight, uh, you played the cash card, you also bought in both of the gift shops as well. So you played extremely well. But if you do decide to come up back on Monday night, $20,035 worth of trip to Africa, that's what you'll be risking. But all the way around us, we'll have a whole heap more prizes valued at over $134,000. We'll give you 10 seconds to have a think about whether you'd like to be with us on Monday night or not. Monday night's a very special night for us here on sale because we're celebrating our 15th birthday and we'd love to have you with us, but of course, will we see you? Can't say no to a party. Ah, hey, you beauty, we've got some party animals on our hands. <laughs> uh, Michelle will be back again and Cameron as well, of course, who will be playing the game. And we certainly hope you'll join us because, uh, as we said, it really is going to be a party night. A lot of fun and games, isn't it, Absolutely. Nick? Absolutely. Yep, we look Seven forward to it. Yep, and 7.30, of course, we have the special sale as well, looking back over the last 15 years. So, uh, until we see you next, take care. Bye. Bye, Bye. See you Monday. Tonight at 8.30, great rugby league action with a top-of-the-table clash which promises to be full of fireworks. Newcastle meet Manly in Friday Night Football exclusively on 9. Stay with us now for Burke's Backyard. This is a Grumpy Television production for the 9 Network Australia. Peter Smith speaking.